It's day four of our CES 2025 coverage, and I've barely talked about wacky robots at all. <laughs> well, turns out there were lots of robots at CES this year, which makes sense. Robotics is kind of in the middle of its chat GPT moment, or at least Nvidia CEO Jensen Wong wants that very badly, having debuted new AI powered tools to develop and train autonomous robots. I mean, if we have advanced AI that hallucinates, and we don't stick it in a super powered metal body, what are we doing? Case in point, the go-to dog robot from Chinese company Unitree, who describes it as a new creature of embodied AI and seemingly can't publish a single video where it doesn't do a handstand. It just learned and it's very excited. Unitree says the go-to can use generative AI to interpret spoken commands, so it figures out how to shake hands when you ask, but ask for a glass of water and- Give me some water. Sorry, I can't reach it. I'll dance to pleasure you instead. Uh, uh what kind of robot did I buy? <laughs> no, 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 you don't have to do that. <laughs> the go-to seems fairly physically capable, but it's actually a much more consumer friendly safer version of Unitree's terrifying wheeled B2W robot, which has been demoed doing a barrel roll in midair and other insane parkour tricks, careening down mountainsides, through water, and over rough terrain, looking like some kind of manic assassin on rollerblades. While the smaller go-to gingerly took the stairs, this thing lands a two meter jump into a handstand and then let's buddy ride it like it's the fucking X Games. <laughs> Look, we're in control of these things, okay? It's not like we're dealing with a brand new intelligent species, Unitree? What? What are you doing? Turns out you can also slap some wheels on the GoTo, and while Boston Dynamics' Spot Robot goes for nearly $75,000, Unitree is selling the GoTo for just $1,600. For 16,000, you can get the company's G1 humanoid robot, who also loves to jump, and take a bow staff off of its back and swing it around like a weapon. And Unitree is training a virtual army in staff combat? What is, why, why didn't they show them making coffee or something? Why would you? <laughs> why do you think humanity needs robots? <clears throat> uh, melee combat? <laughs> Well, thankfully, there were a few robots at CES that might not make you coffee, but could bring it to you. The Mimo from Japanese company Jizai is like a bedside table with spider legs designed to carry items around a house or perhaps a medical facility. And it maybe would have given me nightmares if I wasn't still thinking about the Unitree dogs. Ah, a big trend at CES is also equipping robot vacuums with appendages, the $2,000 Roborock Saros Z70 conceals a clawed arm in its body that can unfold to pick up obstacles in its path weighing under 300 grams. So, you know, socks, slippers, severed fingers. But, oh, the Dream X50 Ultra also has a robot arm attachment. Plus, it's got extendable legs so it can climb over small ledges. Gotcha there. You know what, never mind humanoid robots, let's just keep adding limbs to the vacuums and see where that gets us. SwitchBot is thinking along those lines with their K20 Plus modular robot system. The base model wheeled robot can be combined with a vacuum module, multiple robot arms, cameras, screen holders, and air purifiers with a tabletop. So SwitchBot says you can relax in bed while this thing brings you fresh coffee and breakfast. That you would have had to have made before racing your robot back to your bed. <laughs> Luxury. Hey, you wanna talk convenience? Check out our sponsor, Saley, the eSIM service with regional and global plans. I told them I got roaming fees when I was traveling one time and they would not stop laughing <laughs> with me. I was in on it. Because it doesn't make sense when Saley is right there with affordable eSIMs you can download once to keep you connected while traveling through multiple countries. When Saley heard about how I waited in line at the airport for a local sim, they laughed even harder. And <laughs> it was pretty funny. Saley eSIM plans are compatible with most iOS and Android devices. And if yours isn't compatible, you'll get a full refund with chat support available 24 seven. Get an exclusive 15% discount on Saley eSIM data plans. Just download the Saley app and use code TechLinked at checkout. <gasps> it's QuickBits time.
<laughs> it's quick bits time? I'll fetch the milkman. <laughs> hey, what about Razor? Yeah, they usually have some wacky out there concept to show off at CES, but the wildest thing they had this year was the Project Ariel gaming chair with an integrated fan system that blows cool or warm air at your backside. I mean, that's unusual, but the weirdest thing about it is how surprisingly practical it might be. I mean, what else you got, Razor? The Project Ava AI Gamer Co-Pilot? I mean, it does make some pretty big claims about how capable it is. My knowledge is limitless. Eh, uh, kind of creepy, but not weird enough. This is kind of cool. The Hisong Air Studio One, a professional looking handheld microphone with built-in wireless earbuds you can slide out and use as in-ear monitors. It's such an interesting idea to me that I almost overlooked their weird AI generated promo video. Long ago, humans discovered the natural phenomenon of echoes in caves and canyons, giving rise to the earliest attempts at capturing sound. Almost. Another one that caught my attention is the Shift Cam Plank, a tiny one or two terabyte SSDs that can plug into iPhones so you can fill those up with ProRes 4K 120 FPS footage instead of your onboard storage. It may be a surprisingly practical option for amateur filmmakers, given how great iPhone cameras are and how insistent Apple is that you need to buy iCloud storage. What, you wanna do anything? ShiftCam told 9to5Mac they're launching a Kickstarter next month. Speaking of keeping things local, Google has made keeping control of your smart home devices as local as possible much easier by integrating the Google Home runtime into over 40 million devices. This will let homeowners control matter compatible smart home tech without pinging Google services every time. But Google normally wants to suck up all the data it can. So they're either not telling us something or they're gonna cancel this feature in six months. And Microsoft has declared 2025 the year of the Windows 11 PC refresh. They're getting serious about telling people to upgrade, but they may also be getting a bit sloppy. At M's Conto on Twitter reportedly got one of those now infamous full screen ads for Windows 11 on their Windows 10 PC, only for it to crash immediately after popping up. And I don't wanna speak for Microsoft here, but the guy drunk in public warning about the end of the world is probably not the vibe Microsoft is going for. The vibe I'm going for tomorrow is weird. That's right, we'll be talking about all the weirdest stuff we saw at CES this year. So, hey, be there, you're weird. In, in a good way, I, <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. I'm, pro I'm probably the weirdest, where are you going? 